Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to a chair yoga practice especially designed for when you've just got out of bed. So this practice is designed to get your body moving ready for the day. Um, it's designed to create a little bit of heat in the body in a way that feels energizing and uh, maybe refreshing. So we're going to get started. You're going to need to find a comfortable chair which doesn't have arms and um, so that's maybe the tricky bit here if your chair does have arms you'll be able to follow along with the majority of the practice but at the end we're going to come into a couple of shapes where we'll need a chair without arms if your chair has arms and you can't find one which doesn't you are more than welcome to skip those shapes or perhaps attempt them standing and then rejoin us at the end for our uh, final relaxation so we'll get started finding yourself comfortable in your chair your feet are firmly planted on the floor which might mean you're sitting a little bit away from the back of the chair your hands can rest in your on your knees in your lap or maybe they want to rest on the body so sometimes people like to put their hand resting against the belly or one hand on the uh, chest one hand on the belly we're going to spend the first few moments of the practice just dropping into the body. I know it's early, um, so we're going to spend a little bit of time just becoming a bit aware of how the body feels at this point in the day. So find your hands uh, in their comfortable position. Maybe think about rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you want to close the eyes here. Just allowing the body to settle in. Notice how it feels to become still in the chair. Feel the contact between your feet and the floor. The sit bones and the chair. And the hands against the knees, the thighs, the body. These points of contact are rooting down towards the ground. Allowing everything else in the body to be light, to rise up and away. So the crown of the head is lifted. The spine is lengthened up towards the ceiling. We're going to become aware of the breath here. And often when I ask people to become aware of the breath, they immediately try and change the breath. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm just seeing if you can notice the breath as it is. So without feeling the need to make any changes to the way you are breathing, just observe how the breath moves in the body. Notice the way it lifts up the chest or inflates the belly. Notice the maybe very subtle rise and fall of the shoulders. We're going to take a couple more breaths here before we start to add some movement. Notice as the body is still and calm and relaxed. See if you can bring that feeling with you as we begin to move. So on your next breath in, whenever that happens, you're gonna draw your hands up towards your chest, the palms of the hands facing the ceiling. And then the palms of the hands are gonna press outwards towards the sides of the room as much as you can. Push outwards with your exhale breath, breathing out. Breathe in and flip the palms to face the ceiling. Bring the arms up overhead, again, as high as makes sense in your body. Breathing out, bring the hands down however you like. So maybe the hands are going to push down through the air. Maybe they're going to come down in prayer pose, or maybe they want to sweep out wide by your side. So you choose whichever variation of that feels right for you. And now that you've seen those movements, we're going to keep it going. Your next inhale breath, bring the hands up. Exhale, press the hands out. Inhale, bring the arms up. As much as feels good in your shoulders, you don't need to push it. Exhale, draw the hands down, however you want to. Keep that going. Inhale, draw the hands up. Exhale, press the hands out. Inhale, the arms rise up overhead. 
Exhale, hands are coming down. We'll go for two more like that. Feeling these big breaths in and out of the body, energizing every inch of the body. Inhale, arms reach up. If you are stretching up to greet the day, exhale, hands come down. Last one. Press out with the hands. Really push as if you were creating more space for yourself to move in. Lovely. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, hands are coming down. Right the way to the bottom. And the hands are going to come out and find the knees. We're going to start to find a little bit of mobilization and movement through the spine. So one of the kind of crucial parts of the body that we do need to get moving often in the morning is our back. Um, and we're going to start with our cat cow. Hands are over the knees, fingers just hooked over the kneecap. So you've got a little bit of uh, resistance. You can pull against the knees and you can push against the knees with your palms. We're going to begin by inhaling, pulling against the knees and lifting the chest up and forwards, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to push with the palms, pull the belly button back to the spine, let the shoulders slump forwards, look down towards the belly button, hunching and rounding the back, stretching the back of the neck. Inhale, draw the body forwards, arching the spine like a, a cow dropping its belly low. The shoulders are away from the ears, the gaze lifts up. Exhale, push hands into knees. Round and arch the back like an angry cat, tucking in the chin, looking down towards the belly button. Keep it going, inhale, draw forwards. Arching the spine, belly low, and then pressing back. Pull the belly button to the spine. Pull and uh, pull the chest back, let the shoulders round and hunch forwards. Looking down, you're stretching the back of the neck. One more in each direction. Inhale, you'll pull forwards, pull against the knees. You've got a bit of resistance, strong arms. Exhale, push back, press against the knees, let the shoulders hunch and round. Pull the belly button into the spine. And then using the hands on the knees, guide yourself back up to what feels like the middle, the neutral space between those two big movements in the back body, sitting the body upright. So from here, we're going to move into a few rounds of sun salutations. Sun salutations, literally greetings for the sun, are a huge part of flow yoga practices and are usually used to warm up and energize the body. We're going to use them this morning as the main element of our practice to start to get the body moving in lots of different ways. And then once we've moved through our sun salutations, we'll come into a couple of uh, more fiery shapes towards the end. So find yourself sitting, soles of the feet firmly planted on the floor. When I say, just a little note here, when I say bring your arms up overhead, you bring your arms up as high as makes sense in your shoulders. So if you've got tight or uncomfortable shoulders, the arms might not go very high. And that is completely fine. You're bringing them up as high as they go for you to your point of resistance. And if you can get them right by your ears, fantastic. But if they go a little bit wider, that's fine. It doesn't matter. You bring them up to where it feels like it's the top for you. That's the most important thing. So that's important. So what we're going to do is find ourselves soles of the feet on the floor. We'll go through the first one a little bit slower. And as we get to grips with the movement, we might be able to pick up the pace a little bit. We're going to go for three rounds of sun salutations. So when you're ready, Use a breath in to reach the arms up and open. Use your breath out to sweep your hands back behind you like aeroplane wings as you let the body hinge forwards. The body comes right forwards, almost as if the belly was going to touch the thighs, if you can. Perfect, really nice. Bring the hands to the knees, push the knees away, breathe in, lift the chest halfway up. Breathe out, fly your arms back, airplane wings again, bring the body forwards, perfect, really nice. Breathe in, bring the arms up overhead, body back to upright. As if you're pulling on something heavy, you're gonna drag the hands down in fists, elbows driving down, feel the muscles in the arms really strong as if you're in a bodybuilding show. You're gonna get those muscles really fired up in the arms, really nice, lovely. And then from here, this is the bit where we adjust, we adjust our legs. Kick out through your legs so your heels are on the ground. If that doesn't happen for you, leave your legs as they are. Feet on the floor and just work with the arms. If you can straighten your legs and stay comfortably seated on your chair, straighten your legs. Flex your toes back towards your knees. Inhale, push your arms out. 
reaching the body forwards, press, press, press through the hands. If you're pushing something heavy away from you in front, there should be a big stretch all the way down the back of the body at that point. Very nice. You're gonna bring the feet back to the floor. You're gonna breathe in, reach fingertips up. Breathe out, elbows again, strong arms, as if you were back in that bodybuilding competition, showing off the muscles in your arms. You wanna get all the muscles really tight, and then we'll breathe in, reach the arms up overhead. Breathe out, hands are coming down in prayer at heart center. Take a breath in here. Take a breath out. So those are the movements that we're practicing. We're going to run through exactly that sequence a couple more times. And as you move into it, you're looking to make it your own. You're looking to feel your way into it. Just a note about that moment where we straighten out our legs. You want to be sitting right up on the edge of your chair. Otherwise, it's gonna be very tricky to straighten out the legs. Heels dig down into the floor and the toes pull back towards your face. And you're looking to tilt the body forwards, but not slide forwards off the chair. So you need to make sure those heels are really digging in nice and strong so you can get a little bit of a lean forward. It's not very much. That's why I've sat at this angle so you can hopefully see how much I move um, forwards and backwards in the shapes. We'll go through that twice more without, interrupt, without me interrupting you. And we'll see how it starts to feel as we get to grips with the movements a little bit more. Feet are planted on the floor. When you're ready, inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, arms fly back like aeroplane wings. Palms of the hands face down. Shoulders draw away from your ears. Hands to your knees, inhale. Press up, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold down again. Hands reaching back, airplane wings. Inhale, arms rise up overhead as the body comes to upright. Exhale, pull down, biceps bulging, muscles active, arms active, shoulders active, all the way down, straighten out your legs. Heels digging into the floor. Inhale as you push, hands up and away as if you were driving something heavy away from you overhead. Very nice. You're gonna bring the legs feet back to the floor. You're gonna reach up on your inhale. You're gonna pull the elbows down, strong, biceps, elbows, shoulders, everything active as you draw the arms down, very nice. Inhale, the arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, hands down. Steady your breath. Inhale here. Exhale here. Last one, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, fly the hands back. Really reach the chest forwards, fingertips reach for the back of the room. Very nice. Hands to knees, inhale, halfway, come up. Exhale, fold the body forwards. Hands reach back, shoulders reaching away from your ears. From here, inhale, the arms come up and overhead. Body comes back to neutral. Exhale, you pull. Imagine you're pulling against really thick pieces of elastic that are dangling from the ceiling. You've got to really pull them down. The biceps are working hard. Extending through the legs, dig the heels into the ground and then inhale, you'll push. Press the hands up towards the ceiling. Reach the arms out in front, stretch the body long. This is our downward facing dog shape. Find your feet on the floor. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, you'll pull. Strong pieces of elastic dangling from the ceiling. One more time as you Fire up the biceps and the shoulders and the upper back. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, the hands are coming down. Nice and steady with your breath. Breathe in here. Breathe out here. From here, we're going to bring ourselves into a little warrior series. So a couple of movements from our warrior poses that are going to kind of create some fire and some heat in the body. This is the moment where you need a chair without arms. If you've not got one, you might just skip ahead in the video and meet us at the final relaxation at the end. So if you've got a chair without arms, you're gonna step or support your left knee out to the side. So what you're gonna end up with is one knee pointing over the seat of the chair and one knee pointing over the arm, over where the arm would be of the chair. So the knees are at a 90 degree angle. The feet are still planted on the floor here. So you've got wide knees. If you can, you might see if there is space to scooch the body back a little bit on the chair and extend your right leg out behind you until the sole of the foot 
plants down on the floor. So the sole of my foot is entirely in contact with the floor, not a bit of it, I'm not on the edge of the foot or on my big toe or anything like that. The whole of my foot is pressing down into the ground. This is our warrior two alignment with the legs. If this back leg doesn't extend like that for you, that's not accessible in your hips, then you leave it as it is with the sole of the foot on the floor and the knee outstretched. So you've got two variations. Either you're here with the knee pointing straight ahead, or you've extended the leg behind you and the sole of the foot is on the floor. You're sitting mainly on your left sit bone. Wherever you are with your legs, we're going to now add the arms. Inhale and open the arms up wide. They're parallel to the floor, as if you imagine maybe you are shooting a bow and arrow right the way back and you're extending that back arm. You're looking out over your left fingertips. So if your foot is on the floor, remember, you're here, looking out over your left fingertips, feeling active and energized in the arms. The shoulders are really strong here, and you're gonna lift the chin a little bit. So like you are a proud warrior. So we're gonna take a breath in here, and a breath out here. On our next breath in, we're going to come into a reverse warrior. I'll show you it with the foot on the floor first. You're going to bring your right hand onto your right hip, and inhale your left fingertips to reach up towards the ceiling. If you've got your leg extended, it will look more or less the same, but there might be a bit more movement in the torso. Wherever you are, you're breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, steady here. From here, we're going to come into side angle. So float the arms back to your warrior two position. If you've got your foot on the floor, you're going to bring your left elbow to your left knee, and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling for the beginning of your side angle. If you've got your leg extended, it's more or less the same. Left elbow on left knee, right arm reaching up towards the ceiling. Whichever variation you've got with the legs, we're gonna add on with the arm. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to float your right arm until your bicep is near to your ear and you've got a straight line all the way down your body. So from your hip to your fingertips, that's what we're after. Straight line, big reach. If you've got a foot on the floor, it's the same. Straight line down the side of the body. Beautiful work. Take a breath in here. Breath out here. And then we'll float back to warrior two. We're going to string all three of those movements together. And I'm going to show you them with my leg extended. But if you've got your foot on the floor, you know that they're almost exactly the same. So we're going to run them through twice. Extending your arms, finding yourself in your warrior two. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale here. Inhale, right hand to right hip, left arm extends up for the ceiling, reverse warrior. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, right arm reaches for the ceiling, side angle pose. Exhale, can you extend your side angle overhead? Inhale back to your warrior two. Exhale here. Right hand to right hip, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, right arm extends, side angle. Exhale as you extend your side angle. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale here. and then we're going to let it go. Let the hands come down to find the hips. If you need to support your right knee as you bring your right leg back in, you can do. And then when you're ready, you'll support or step your left knee back in to match up with your right. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So you'll see it from the other angle as I turn the other way. What we're going to do is lift or uh, step or support our right knee out to the side. And remember, that could be where you choose to stay with the left knee pointing in the direction that was forwards and your right knee pointing out towards the right. Or alternatively, you could see how it feels to scooch the body back on the chair and you'll be able to see better on this side the reason why I need to scooch back on the chair. So as I step my left foot back, I need to bring my body back so there is space for my left hip to turn and the sole of my foot to find the floor there. I'm mostly sitting on my right sit bone. My left sit bone is not really on the chair at all. It's off the chair, that's why I've moved back. So. You've got this option or you've got foot on the floor, whichever variation makes sense to you. When you found yourself there, we'll add on the arms. Inhale to expand the arms forwards and backwards. 
Your back arm is as active as your front arm and you're looking out over your right fingertips. So you're here with the foot on the floor or your leg extended back behind you here. Once you've got yourself there, let's start to run through those movements nice and slow. So from here, we're going to bring the left hand onto the left hip and reach the right fingertips up towards the ceiling for your reverse warrior. Very nice, steady breath here. And don't forget, if you are with your foot on the floor, it's exactly the same. And then we'll change our reverse warrior back to warrior two by floating the arms back to where they started. Very nice, looking out over the right fingertips. And then we'll release the right elbow to the right knee. Right elbow finds the right knee. And from there, you're gonna reach the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. If you can, you're gonna see how it feels to extend the left arm up and overhead, a long straight line through the body, whichever variation you're in, long straight line through the body. This right hand, it's very helpful if you can get the right palm of the hand to face the ceiling. It helps to keep the right arm active. Inhale here. Exhale, float the arms back to your warrior two. So we're going to bring those shapes together exactly as we did on the other side. So inhale, breath in your, I'll show you it with the, um, I'll show you it with my foot on the floor this time. Inhale, breath in your warrior two. Exhale, breath here. Inhale, left hand to left hip, reach right fingertips to the ceiling. Reverse warrior. Exhale, right elbow to right knee, left arm reaches to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, extend your side angle overhead. Inhale your way back to warrior two. Exhale here. Inhale, left hand to left hip, reach right fingertips to the ceiling, stretch up, reverse warrior. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, right arm extends, sorry, right elbow to right knee, left arm extends overhead even. And as you reach up, you'll inhale. As you exhale, you'll see if there's space to extend that side angle overhead. Inhale, we'll float our way back to warrior two and pause here. Exhale, breath and then we'll let it go. Letting the hands float back down. If you need to support your back knee as you bring it in, please feel free to do so. Support or step your right knee back around so it matches up with your left. Your back sitting on your chair facing forwards. And this is where we'll meet up with anybody who didn't take those last warrior shapes, finding ourselves seated here, ready to come into our final relaxation. Before we get there, just a brief stretch. So you're going to, you're going to come forwards on the end of your chair, so you're sitting right on the edge of your chair, whether it's got arms or not, and we're going to extend and dig the right heel into the floor. The right heel is going to dig into the floor. We're going to reach the arms forwards and then fly the arms backwards, exactly as we did when we were in our um, sun salutations. But with this leg extended, we're getting a real stretch down the back of the leg. So breathing nice and steady here. If having the arms in this position is uncomfortable, you can let them rest on the knee, but you're keeping the body in that position, hinging forward. And then we'll change. Bring yourself back to upright. Plant your right foot down on the floor. Extend your left leg. Left heel digs into the ground. The toes point up towards the ceiling. Inhale, the arms are reaching up first. Bit of length. Exhale, the body's folding forwards over the leg. Again, if having the arms back like this doesn't feel good, hands rest on the knee. But the body's hinging forwards, getting that stretch all the way down the back of the left leg. And then we'll let it go. Bring the hands back, bring the left sole of the foot back to the floor. A bit of a stretch for the arms that have done a lot of hard work for us here. And we're going to keep it really simple. You're going to reach the arms out wide. And you're going to give yourself a big hug with the right arm on top. So give yourself a, as big a hug as you can manage with the right arm on top. So it doesn't matter if you're here, catching hold of elbows maybe, or wrapping right around the back of your shoulders. Wherever you are, your breath in is going to lift the elbows up. Lovely big stretch under the back of the shoulder blade and your breath out is going to tuck the elbows in towards the belly button. Big rounding sensation in the back, space between the shoulder blades. One more. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to draw down. 
same on the other side. As we inhale, we'll expand out through the arms. This time we'll give ourselves a big hug with the left arm over the top. Wrapping yourself in. So elbows might meet up or you might be grabbing forearms or you might be grabbing elbows. Whichever variation you've got, you're going to inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw down. We'll bring ourselves back up to neutral. We'll release any grip that we've got through the arms. Let the hands fall to the lap. Maybe you want to unroll the shoulders or um, turn the head side to side or any little movements that you feel like you need to take in your body. And what we're going to do now is shift ourselves back in the chair, right the way back until our back can be supported by the back of the chair. The feet don't have to touch the floor anymore. So if you're on your tiptoes, that is OK, as long as you are comfortable. Hands can rest in your lap or against your belly or one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, whatever feels right for you. And we're just ending our practice here with a moment of relaxation. And I know you want to remain energized and, and carry on with your day, but just this brief moment of pause allows the body to integrate, to take on board all of that hard work, all of the shapes that we've just moved through. So we'll take this brief pause in the body, maybe closing the eyes. Noticing how the body feels now. Sensations of energy moving through the body. The breath slow and easy and relaxed. See if you can relax your feet your ankles, your knees. See if you can relax any tension from around your hips, your lower back and your belly. Perhaps you might be able to release your shoulders, your arms and hands. Relax and soften your neck, your face and your head. Take a final couple of breaths here. And then when you feel ready, deepen your inhale breath slightly bringing into the body new, fresh energy. Maybe enough energy to wiggle the fingertips and the toes to maybe begin to roll the wrists and the ankles a little bit. And when you feel ready, there might be an inhale breath big enough to stretch the arms up overhead. Exhaling, bring the hands down in prayer. Pause for a moment, soaking up these last few drops of your practice. And then when you feel ready, blinking your eyes gently open if they've been closed. Maybe sealing your practice by bringing the hands together or bowing the head to the heart or anything else that feels right for you. Thank you so much for joining me, for practicing with me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you really soon.